against this team can be deadly. They like to run. Number one in the NBA in fast break points per game. Third in points off of turnovers as Simmons. Unfinished business for him. Siakam is all over Horford. Taking in time with this, let the play develop. The down screen for Ben set for. Richardson, another three, got it. Siakam, by the way, their leading rebounder on the season. Powell for three. Both teams right now having a little brick party. Golden House. We have a time. Things they do to get to know each other, Number and it's starting to build, fellas. Chemistry, Allah through communication. Sixers elect Tobias Harris out of the timeout. He promptly quit. The microwave. When you saw him coming. You knew points were coming with him. And it's denied by Siakam. Simmons trying to force feed it to Horford. Right? Isn't it? I mean, but think about the amount of space covered, right? The improvement made. Wow. Oh, nice look. Indeed, and Harris slams at the other end. Beautifully done that time. By the familiarity that they have with his calls, his terminology, his expectations, I think that's got to bode well for them. In some instances, they might be better. By that time, that connection is true. He was normally hungry for offensive rebounds. Cork Maz missing the three. Simmons, the Sixers here with a fresh 14. Harris will give it a whirl. And beat scoreless to this point, 0 for 2 from the floor. Powell galloping in and beat up there to meet him at the rim. There's Scott teeing up a three. Rebound to Hollis Davis. All four years at Ole Miss. An undrafted free agent has played in every game but one so far this year. Kirk Moss floating home too, and as much as I love his outside shooting. Better defensive teams in the NBA. Six is going a long time without scoring, as the graphic showed. Simmons trying to get it to Ennis. Sixers give it up. This is danger here. It's Van Vliet missing the three. Gathered in by Booth. Who got off to a tough start this season. Little playing time and a groin injury, but Serge Ibaka out. His playing time has surged, and he's making an impact here off the bench. As Simmons goes to the goal. We have a whistle. Or you have every right to vote after he's hit a few jumpers. He hasn't hit a few jumpers. What are you doing? Simmons banging it off of Powell. And he played it well above the NBA average. Light years ahead of when he first entered the league. Scott, another three. Got it. Well, Gasol brings an interesting combination because he's smart, he's big. And he doesn't mind being physical. He kind of relishes that, knows it, how to do it against JoJo. Simmons against OG Ananobi. Nice give up to Ennis, who throws down two. James Ennis to creep along that baseline. Here comes the drop step right there. It takes two defenders with him. Ennis, wide open. Howell. That'll do it. As we began the third quarter, along with Serena Winters and Ala Abedabi, Mark Sumat tonight on NBC Sports Philadelphia, and Ben Simmons indeed looked at the rim that time. Able to get all the way to the great fan fleet along with Norman Powell in the backcourt. Gasol in the middle. OG Ananobi has it here, and Pascal Siakam the forwards. Here are the Sixers now looking to go in front. Sixers with good rotations and while rotating, keeping their hands up, being big, getting deflections. It just felt like they weren't dropping and hoped that they could convert more on their offensive rebounds and of course they had to ask about Joel so look out for them to be running some more actions with him where he's rolling so he's not getting double teamed so much. The better parts of his game is three point shooting and he buries that one. Reminds me a lot physically of Bam Adebayo got different kinds of games as OG Ananobi. That's the oh, points yeah. of a teammate. Oh yeah that's why I could have never played with him. Great, got a lot of respect for him, but you got to pass the ball. Mm. 
But it worked for them. Larry Brown is a genius. Yep. Made that combination of guys work. 2001, a trip to the NBA Finals. Took the first game in L.A. against the Lakers. B meeting up with Gasol. There's the double by Powell. And Joel still scoreless, 0 for 6. Norman Powell is first, first on the team. Simmons lobbing for Horford. Well done by Ben, his ninth oh, assist. You're right, but he's a tough cover. He's always a threat to drive, and now he's got a three-point shot. Simmons, obviously, much more aggressive. Thank you, Brett Brown has done so much in the community. His coaches' clinics have become an annual event, attracting high school and college coaches from all over the area. As the Sixers force the Toronto turnover out of the timeout, now looking to go in front. But Fred Van Vliet gets it back. Powell for three. And you've got to look and see where you're passing. Simmons hit and fouled by Ananova. Confidence growing. Starting to feel like he really belongs among the elite in this league. He's starting to play like it on a more consistent basis. The Raptor foul here. This is the stop. Van Vliet, also part of that G League title team with Pascal Siakam, coached by Jerry Stackhouse. Harris hopping into a three, and down it goes for Tobias Siakam. He averages just under 26. Scott hits for a three. Got it! Mike Scott is third. Th Harris, a plunging Simmons. Down to Siakam. Three on the way from Ananobi. Work on Korkmaz waiting to re-enter. Horford off the double, got it done. For the rest, Ray is an undrafted free agent, Terrence Davis at 47%. Six offensive rebounds for the Raptors. Harris for three. The guy who went undrafted after four years in college at Ole Miss. Despite the crowd reaction, it's still just two points. So you got to come down and answer. There you go. Yep. And Corkmaz hits the three. Team named Duke. Mm, I've heard of that. Mm. B back on the floor out of the timeout. Harris bursting in. Got it done. Well done by Tobias Harris. Give him 18 in the Sixers. Look from Siakam. Fred Brown with his starters as well as we enter the guts of the game. Last touch by Toronto. I want to say, well, they see. The Sixer lead is down to a deuce. Under three minutes to go. Good job spacing. A lot of space to run. And and that. missed again. Gasol and Simmonton working on Van Vliet. Shot clock expires. Sixers have it. Play continues. Shot clock on plug. The lob for Harrison. It's intercepted. Now the Sixers have to foul, and they do it. I would go for a three. I would go for a three. Here's Harris. Powell in tow. It's for a three. Need a rebound. Simmonton is bumped on the play. The heave. 